then we should position the heat in flexion, abduction, external rotation. So we will instruct the patient to be in flexion, abduction, external rotation. So nakaganyan ko lang relax position. Okay, so flex, abduction, external rotation. Just give everything there. All your weight. Normal. Tayo ka lang. Normally, tayo ka lang ganyan. Okay, so the therapist will be staying here. The PT should be in this area. Because what's important here is the pool or the top that we will be doing later on. Okay? So, um, before we start, um, we will be doing an anchor. So, it will hold, it will serve as the base on the <laughs> Okay? So... <laughs> So, kahit sa inside, um, so you mean, yeah. sorry, we will start from the medial, medial right? going to the lateral. By the way, if we also hold the bandage, mas mahirap kasi kapag itong rolled part nasa inner part than if it is on the outer area. So, it's easier to maneuver to use it if it is on the outer area. So, anchor pa lang naman to. Ito ko ng part na. So, para secured siya. Then next is we will now apply a flexion force, an abduction force, and external rotation force. Flexion is towards this way, abduction towards this way. External rotation, if I move it here, nag externally rotate siya, di ba? Mm. So generally, if we sum up all the forces, the vector that we will be getting is this one. Meaning, all the forces coming here will produce flexion, abduction, and external rotation. So I can start tugging on this area for flexion. Flexion. So, nag start tayo ng flexion, abduction, external rotation. So, then I can go up here. Then, we will move it dito sa pelvic area. Then, rotate tayo dito lang. Okay? So, again, what's the pull? Flexion, flexion abduction. Nakatatanggal na yung tapes niya. Pero anyways, flexion, abduction, external rotation. So, maintain natin tong tag na to while... Sir, so up. Um, it's not really tight. Not too tight na mag-impinge ka na ng blood vessel sa area. So, later on, we will also check kung baka mamaya na ilipit na yung blood vessels na yun. So, we will go through this area. So, make sure wala din mga wrinkles. Ayun si Ramon. Pag-apply, wala tayong mga spaces dito sa area na to. To avoid yung mga dog ears. Then, you can apply it the third time. Flexion, flexion, abduction, external rotation. So, go right here first step in the middle. Then, it is second step in the middle. Okay, I'm sorry. Zero. 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 Sabi naman pag sumagi sa floor. So, hindi siya sumagi sa floor, di ba? Naopan pa ito nilang dalawa. So, flexion, abduction, external rotation. Kapag nilagligay sa akin. Sir X. Then, we are ending on this area. At least on an area which the patient has an access on. So, pwede natin gamitin yung mga clips. Yung mga ganito. Okay lang gamitin yan. Kaso kung sira na yan, what we can do is we can insert it inside there. So we can insert it inside. So what are the things that we have to check after applying this one? We could have applied it too tight. So if it is too tight, what could what, what structures could have been affected? The nerve. So may naramdaman po ba kayo masakit? May naramdaman kang parang namanin head? Wala naman. Next, you have to check the toe nails. Check kung may bluish discoloration na baka mamaya wala na enough blood flow in the area. Next, we need also to check if we were able to restrict the movement. So, I want you to do this movement. Again, we are in Faber. So, ano ang may restrict na gusto natin dito? Extension, adduction, internal rotations. I want you to do this movement. Sorry, so ganun. Sige. May restrict ba? Restricted. Next, even if the patient has this bandage, kailangan nakakalakad pa rin siya normally. So, sige, try natin siya palakad. Go in there, walk normally, as you can. Normal lang. Relax. So, it should not really affect the walking of your patient. 
Okay, so dapat hindi naging effective dyan, but still we are restricting the AID yeah, deer movements. Okay. okay, so any questions? Uh, questions? None.